Fellow Zimbabweans, today, the 21st of March 2020, the National Microbiology Reference Laboratory at the Salim Gande Central Hospital confirmed yet another case of COVID-19, which brings to two the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Zimbabwe. This second patient is a 30-year-old male resident in Harare, who had traveled to New York, United States of America, on the 20, 29th of February 2020, and returned home in Harare on the 9th of March 2020, and he came through Johannesburg. He started exhibiting mild symptoms, flu-like illness, on the 12th of March 2020 which progressively got worse on the 19th of March. He consulted his doctor, who advised him to self-isolate at home. The doctor alerted the local COVID-19 rapid response team that immediately went in to assess him and recommended that he continues with the self-isolation at home. Specimens were collected and sent to the reference laboratory for testing. Yesterday evening, he developed severe respiratory distress and after stabilization at home, he was admitted for isolation and clinical management at Wilkins Hospital. The reference lab confirmed his COVID-19 positive results early this morning. Our teams are now engaged in contact tracing and as with the first case, are being assisted by the patient himself. Once again, we call upon everyone to remain calm as we manage these confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Zimbabwe. In the meantime, I'd like to emphasize the need for us to continue practicing good personal hygiene, the washing of hands with soap and water frequently, or use of alcohol-based hand rubs. You have to cover up your nose and mouth with tissue paper or flexed elbow when coughing and sneezing. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Avoid, avoid close contact with people who are sick, coughing or sneezing. Avoid unnecessary travel, especially to all those countries with confirmed cases of COVID-19. I would also like to advise that the Ministry of Health and Child Care will continue to update the nation by issuing official statements regarding the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the country as soon as the results are made available by the laboratory. Finally, let me take this opportunity to appreciate the leadership and guidance being provided by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade Emerson Damzom Nangagwa, in response to this pandemic. I thank you.